Introduction You see a large variety of animals and plants in your surroundings. They all are of various shapes and sizes and also look different to each other. But one thing is common in all of them. They all are made up of a small unit of life, that is, cell. So in this module, we are going to learn about cell and its structure. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Know about the cell and its discovery Define unicellular and multicellular organisms Describe the structure of cell Explain the structure and functions of cell membrane, cell wall, cytoplasm, nucleus, vacuole and plastids Differentiate between the plant and animal cell. Introduction of Cell A cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. Experiment Take a small piece of an onion and peel off the skin with the help of a pair of forceps. Put this layer immediately in a watch glass containing water. Take a glass slide, put a drop of water on it and transfer a small piece of the peel from the watch glass to the slide. Put a drop of iodine solution on this piece followed by a cover slip with the help of a mounting needle. Put this slide under low power followed by high powers of a compound microscope. All these structures are similar to each other. Discovery of cell Who discovered cell first? The cells were first discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. He examined a thin slice of cork under a primitive microscope and saw that the cork resembled the structure of a honeycomb consisting of many little compartments. Robert Hooke called these boxes cells. Types of Organisms Unicellular Organisms Multicellular Organisms In unicellular organisms, a single cell may constitute a whole organism. Example, amoeba, chlamydomonas, paramecium and bacteria. In multicellular organism, many cells group together in a single body and assume different functions in it to form various body parts. Example, some fungi, plants and animals. Each living cell has the capacity to perform certain basic functions that are characteristic of all living forms, that is, cells of heart to pump blood, cells of stomach to digest food, etc. Each cell contains certain specific components within it, known as cell organelles. Each kind of cell organelle performs a special function, such as making new material in the cell, clearing up the waste material from the cell, etc. Shape and size of cells Shape of cells Different organisms have different shapes. It is due to changes in the shape of cells. Amoeba keeps on changing its shape due to presence of pseudopodia. Generally, cells are round, spherical or elongated. Some cells are long and pointed at both ends. Size of cells The size of cells in living organisms may be as small as a millionth of a meter, micrometer or micron or may be as large as a few centimeters. The smallest cell is 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer in bacteria. The largest cell measuring 170 mm into 130 mm is the egg of an ostrich. Plasma membrane and its functions. What is a cell made up of? While studying the cell under a microscope, we will find three common features 
in almost every cell. Plasma membrane, nucleus and cytoplasm which are responsible for all activities inside the cell and interactions of the cell with its environment. Plasma membrane. This is the outermost covering of the cell that separates the contents of the cell from its external environment. The plasma membrane allows or permits the entry or exit of some materials in and out of the cell. It also prevents movement of some other materials. The cell membrane, therefore, is called a selectively permeable membrane. Functions of plasma membrane Unicellular freshwater organisms and most plant cells tend to gain water through osmosis. Absorption of water by plant roots is also an example of osmosis. Thus, diffusion is important in exchange of gases and water in the life of a cell. Cell wall and its functions Cell wall Plant cells have another rigid outer covering called the cell wall that lies outside the plasma membrane. The plant cell wall is mainly composed of cellulose. Cellulose is a complex substance and provides structural strength to plants. Functions of cell wall Cell wall provides the rigidity and strength to cell and also permits the cells of plants, fungi and bacteria to withstand very dilute hypotonic external media without bursting by building up pressure against it. Cytoplasm and its functions. Cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is the fluid content inside the plasma membrane. It also contains many specialized cell organelles. Each of these organelles performs a specific function for the cell. Functions of cytoplasm. In cytoplasm, all cell organelles are embedded. Nucleus and its functions. Nucleus. The nucleus has a double-layered covering called nuclear membrane. The nuclear membrane has pores which allow the transfer of material from inside the nucleus to its outside, that is, to the cytoplasm. The nucleus contains chromosomes, which are visible as rod-shaped structures only at time of cell division. Chromosomes contain information for inheritance of features from parents to the next generation in the form of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid molecules. Chromosomes are composed of DNA and protein. Functional segments of DNA are called genes. Whenever the cell is about to divide, the chromatin material gets organized into chromosomes. In some organisms like bacteria, the nuclear region of the cell may be poorly defined due to the absence of a nuclear membrane. These organisms are known as prokaryotes. Organisms with cells having a nuclear membrane are called eukaryotes. Functions of Nucleus The nucleus plays a central role in cellular reproduction, the process by which a single cell divides and forms two new cells. It also regulates the cellular activities. Vacuoles Vacuoles are storage sacs for solid or liquid contents. In animal cells, the size of vacuoles is small, while plant cells have very large vacuoles. The central vacuole of some plant cells may occupy 50 to 90% of the cell volume. In plant cells, Vacuoles are full of cell sap and provide turgidity and rigidity to the cell. Many important substances for life are stored in vacuoles. These include amino acids, sugars, various organic acids and some proteins. In single-celled organisms like amoeba, the food vacuole contains the food items that the amoeba has consumed. In some unicellular organisms, specialized vacuoles also play important roles in expelling excess water and some wastes from the cell.
plastids. Plastids are present only in plant cells, not in animal cells. Plastids are similar to mitochondria in external structure. There are two types of plastids. Chromoplasts, colored plastids, and leucoplasts, white or colorless plastids. Chromoplasts are colored plastids which provide different colors to flowers and fruits. Leucoplasts are colorless plastids. They store some materials like starch, oils, and protein granules. Chlorophyll containing plastids are known as chloroplasts. These are important for photosynthesis in plants. Difference between animal and plant cell. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. In 1665, Robert Hooke discovered cell first. On the basis of presence of single or many cells, the organisms are of two types, unicellular and multicellular organisms. Each cell contains certain specific components within it, known as cell organelles, that perform a special function. Plasma membrane is the outermost covering of the cell that separates the contents of the cell from its external environment. Plasma membrane also works as selective permeable membrane by allowing or permitting the entry and exit of some materials in and out of the cell while preventing some other materials. Vacuoles are storage sacs for solid or liquid contents. In animal cells, the size of vacuoles is small, while plant cells have very large vacuoles. Plastids are present only in plant cells, not in animal cells. Plant cells have another rigid outer covering called the cell wall that lies outside the plasma membrane. The plant cell wall is mainly composed of cellulose and provides strength to the cell. Nucleus is a spherical or oval, dot-like structure present near to the center of each cell. It plays a central role in cellular reproduction and it also regulates the cellular activities. The cytoplasm is the fluid content inside the plasma membrane. It also contains many specialized cell organelles.